Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to be doing a little something a little bit different. Over the past few weeks, I've been building a whole bunch of gaming PCs, and I thought today we'd do something a little bit different. We are going to be looking at a bit of a build guide, how you can build a 10,000 grand gaming PC yourself. I tend to build a fair amount of PCs, and at the moment it seems to be round about the 10,000 grand price mark. So for today's video, we're going to be looking at doing the same thing, um, and how you can build it yourself. Uh, most likely, you'll probably be able to build it for cheaper than me, but I'm going to give you a bit of an idea of where you can look, what you can look at, and where you can find some specials now bear in mind that the things that we're going to look at may not always be available and at the time of the video obviously you can pick up these things but keep an eye out there are places where you can look and i'll give you some ideas and we're going to have a look at putting together uh, something similar to this gaming pc quite simply i built a pc now recently uh, we're looking at a for this one specifically a ryzen 5 4500 with a msi b450 m motherboard 16 gigs ram managed to get an rx 6600 xt a pretty decent graphics card we're looking at a 512 gig ssd a 450 watt uh, a plus antic uh, power supply and then the msi forge m100a pc case the rgb fans uh, listed as uh, auto rgb even though it says argb if you go into the what's the name it said auto rgb so they basically just stay on this rainbow what's the name uh, they come with molex adapters so it plugs into the, the molex connector on your power supply and then they just maintain a red the rainbow color scheme so you can't actually change it very nice case the side panel is uh, acrylic but i managed to pick it up for a fairly decent price so uh, for a budget build not bad but i'll be able to show you where to find uh, something that you might be more interested in instead of going for something like this uh, the, the other reason why i like this type of case this one specifically is because it is a micro atx case so it is the smaller case to fit the smaller motherboards so i tend to prefer that it makes the build look a little bit neater if i can say it that way so yeah so for today we're going to have a look at putting together a 10,000 rand gaming pc okay so first of all for a gaming pc you're going to need a motherboard cpu and ram um, for if you're looking at something you can go ahead and just pick up a kit um, have a look at some a place like evtech uh, they've got kits available you can just purchase one straight off the bat so you get cpu motherboard and ram just bear in mind uh, with these kits you get a single stick of 16 gig memory now 16 gig is always better to go for when it comes to gaming the only problem with this one specifically is there's only one stick so the performance is limited the cpu performance is limited because it's only one stick you're only using one channel of a dual channel cpu so bear that in mind now if you are looking to pick up something like this i'd recommend putting it together yourself you can from Eve Tech themselves pick up a 16 gig so this is on special at the moment for 699 uh, 3600 megahertz it's 28 gigs and you pick up obviously 699 that's excluding delivery depending on where you are it might be a hundred rand for delivery um, the Orion kit that I managed to pick up I paid 800 for it uh, in total so not too bad the only difference was mine was a 32 megahertz kit and Eve Tech's level up <laughs> wasn't out at the time so this is a very good option to look at for a cpu in my build i had a look at the ryzen 5 4500 uh, performs very similar to the 4650g only difference is you get it's slightly higher clocked it's not overclockable so bear that in mind the 40 the 4500 is overclockable where this one isn't but this one's got in integrated graphics so it's got graphics built into the cpu so that could be a plus for you uh, that whole choice is up to you uh, the other thing is if you are looking to pick up the 4500 and you have a look at take a lot take a lot have got it on special at the moment for a thousand six hundred and forty nine rand so this is a very good price uh, even at some of the other places you won't find it for this this price so you can pick yourself up something from take a lot uh, and if you are looking for a motherboard they do have some motherboards available and you can pick yourself up a cpu and a motherboard um, a320 is the older motherboard so you you'll get 50 rand off the price um, and then shipping might be a little bit delayed or you can go for an a5 20 you can also have a look at Wootware. Uh, Wootware has got if you're looking for the a320 and you want to save a little more money you can go for Wootware and pick one of those up for 
a thousand rand, excluding obviously shipping. Um, the A520, same price. So yeah, most of the time I pick up some, something similar to what Evtech offers, which is the uh, B450M. I'll pick them up for about one, one, 1,100. Yeah, so, and I think it works out to be about 100 rand more, excluding shipping, but 100 rand more, and you can build something similar, actually better than what Evtech is actually offering. Oh yeah, especially for the 3600 megahertz kit. For, if you're looking for, for a PC case, uh, you can try Evtech for the PC cases. Uh, if you go to the clearance option and have a look at some of the, the clearance and go for PC cases, they have got some pretty decent ones available. So you can pick up a clearance sale on one of their cases. This is a very good price. Uh, I managed to pick up the uh, MSI Forge M100A, MRT, all of this. I managed to pick this up for about 700, seven to 800. They are quite pricey in the market. Uh, probably because you're paying for the MSI branding. Um, the case itself is a pretty good quality. I will bring out a video for the case itself at some point. Uh, it's, it's it's a very nice case, just obviously uh, four fans and they don't change color, they stay exactly the same with a, an acrylic side panel. If you're looking for uh, SSDs, uh, you can have a look at, at Rootware for the SSDs, uh, but Evtex also running specials on their SSDs at the moment. So if we go for into the clearance again, they've got pretty decent specials at the moment, $4.99. And do me a favor, um, even though I have a look at Evtech quite a bit, uh, shop around, have a look at some of the bigger guys. Uh, I have got a video out, which I will also link in the description of places where you can also buy other places. So shop around, have a look at Rootware, have a look at Dreamware Tech, have a look at Brew Tech, have a look at EK Online. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, of guys willing to sell. Um, tech.co.za uh, uh, they, they're a Joburg site they're also very well priced uh, GWIS, First Shop uh, there's a, l a number of places where you can shop around and have a look for some good deals I just find that Evtech tends to have a fair amount more specials but your mileage may vary, so yes. I mean, this is 490, 500 bucks for a 480. Uh, you can go for the 512 and I mean, pay like 50 Rand extra and go for something like that. But they have got a, a number of SSDs on special at the moment. Uh, for the graphics card, if you're not looking to go second hand, uh, I tend to opt for second hand because you can get a little bit more performance for your money if you if you are looking second hand. But if you don't want to risk going second hand, I definitely have a look at Take a Lot. Take a Lot's got brand new, and this is in stock at the time of making this video. You can pick yourself up a uh, RX 588 gig. It's a DDR5 version, a pretty decent card. It is a little bit old school, so performance is supposed to be uh, very similar to a 1060 but this is obviously a gig card bear that in mind you can pick up this up for 3000 so the reason why I've kind of opted for this uh, I am planning on getting one in and then I'll be able to do like a review on, on this card uh, the reason why I opted for something like this is because even on the second hand market when you look at prices basically selling this card for uh, 2500 2000 and you can literally buy it with free delivery brand new from take a lot so this is actually a pretty good deal and a lot of times when you start going what's in it then i mean it's a lot more expensive so not a bad card the only problem with the card is uh, amd have mentioned something about support going forward um so games coming out it will run newer games the problem is optimization might be minimized because they're not uh, updating drivers for this card so bear that in mind but if you're looking to run esports titles and that type of thing it's really not a bad buy other than that uh, second hand market i tend to pick up x uh, 6600 xts uh, from anywhere from 3000 all the way up to about 39 you can pick up quite a few of them for pretty decent prices at the moment um, and in terms of performance you're looking at uh, the card sits between a RTX uh, 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti so it's better than a 3060 but not as good as a 3060 Ti so bear that in mind but um, overall it's a pretty decent bang for the for the buck price especially the fact that 3060s are trying to go for like 5,000 and you pick this up for 3,000 3,200 3,500 a pretty good deal on that uh, for power supplies uh, next you'll need so we've got SSDs next you would would need is a power supply generally for 
my builds. Um, in terms of performance, a 450 watt seems to do me perfectly well. My favorite 450 watt is the Antec Atom V450. It's a 450 watt power supply. Uh, it's not a rated power supply. One of the nicest things about this power supply specifically is that it's got 450 watts. It's a 450 watt power supply. It's got 450 watts straight on the 12 volt rail. For a Ryzen 5 4500, you're looking at about 100 watts. So <laughs> And then the 6600 XT, it's obviously a newer card, so it's a lot more efficient than the old cards, but the 6600 XT never reaches 200 watts. So put that together, you've got 300 watts and you've still got 150 watts available, so it gives you a little bit of leeway. Um, even the 3060 and 3060 Ti, you've still got a bit of wattage available uh, should you need it at a later stage. I tend, tend to pick them for a little bit cheaper, um, but like this, you can pick one up at Tech. Uh, .co .co. I have purchased from them in the past for uh, 679 Rand or you can go Eve Tech. Um, so they have got specials running. There's a 600 watt. You can pick up that for 799. So yeah, power supply case, uh, RAM, storage, and you've got yourself a banging gaming PC. Uh, if you are looking to go second hand, uh, just a bit of caution when it comes to uh, graphics cards, make sure that the fans are working, make sure the card can boost. Um, and bear in mind that there are miners that are selling the cards so just tread cautiously but if you are willing to go down that route you can pick up some pretty decent deals on 1660s i mean i've got a list of them 1660 super uh, 3060s you can pick them up for pretty cheap if you want to start pushing up the budget a lot of times you'll be able to get more performance for less because of it so bear that in mind uh, if you want to save some money you can go for the, the low end cards but yeah shop around find something that's near you uh, 2060 supers also fairly available uh, the nvidia cards seem to be a little bit more expensive than the amd cards i mean that's it and you can build yourself a 10,000 rand gaming pc and probably even cheaper than what i built it for i mean thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um if you found any of this interesting then do me a favor just hit the like button uh leave a comment uh, let me know what what pc you're playing on what are, what are your current pc specs what, what do you think you might upgrading next but leave a comment down below and then thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next video.